I had a very high reluctance in, order to, in regard to reporting on this particular study. Obviously, for obvious reasons. What this study's outcome has shown in this study is that vitamin K actually, in this case, worked well with warfarin. And the reason I want this study to bring it to light is because the profound positive impact that vitamin K has on individual health, an individual's health, is astounding. So if future studies are done, my concern with this study talking from a statistical terminology is I worry it may be underpowered, and even then, uh, if the p-value comes out okay, uh, I would still like to see it repeated in an additional study, uh, a little redundant, just to put my mind at ease. But however, though, that's institutionalizing, or I should say, inserting, apologize, publisher bias. Again, also the terms are a little technical. It's because, to repeat, I like to see this video primarily among healthcare professionals. I'd be really, really, really concerned if an individual started adding vitamin K to their diet without it being monitored while on warfarin itself. So please play it safe and work in conjunction with a healthcare professional. Now, to direct towards healthcare professionals, the title of this particular study. Eating more vitamin K found to help not harm patients on warfarin. What a confounding title. So, to proceed, contrary to common wisdom, increasing vitamin K intake helps stabilize anticoagulation. We're going to go right into the study parameters in a second. When prescribed the anticoagulant drug warfarin, many patients are told to limit foods rich in vitamin K, such as green vegetables. The results of a new clinical study, new being this June 11, 2019, results of this new clinical trial call that advice into question and suggest patients on warfarin actually benefit from increasing their vitamin K intake as long as they keep their intake levels consistent. We're going to jump ahead right into how the study was conducted. The DUI citation will be there too with the links so you can look at the study yourself as well. The study is the first randomized control trial to test how patients on warfarin respond to a dietary intervention aimed at systematically increasing vitamin K intake. That's the part that amazes me. Warfarin is such a commonly prescribed medication and so many medical professionals are concerned in regard to vitamin K intake, you thought there would have been a trial ahead of time, so we're down historically, to confirm or deny this potential recommendation. Well, let us proceed. Researchers enrolled 46 patients. When I talk about being underpowered, again, I'd like to see a little larger sample size. With a history of anticoagulation instability, half attended dietary counseling sessions and cooking lessons that provided general nutrition information while half attended counseling sessions and cooking lessons focused on increasing intake of green vegetables and vitamin K rich oils and herbs. After six months, we're talking a huge difference. 50% of those counseled to increase your vitamin K intake were maintaining stable anticoagulation levels compared with just 20% of those who received the general nutrition, nutritional counseling, a significant improvement. Again, that's incredible. A lot of the biostatisticians out there are gonna be looking for confounding factors. But again, we're just reviewing the study. The results suggest patients taking warfarin would benefit from consuming foods that provide a minimum of 90 micrograms of vitamin K per day for women and 120 micrograms per day for men, according to the researcher. I'm going to drop a little bit to the side here. We're going to look at the abstract. That's the level that they were aiming for in regard to the study itself. It seems a little lower in regard to the recommendation here, but still, that's the abstract information there. But to proceed, quoting the researcher, I think all warfarin treated patients, I am just quoting, again, I'm reading verbatim, I think all warfarin treated patients would benefit from increasing their daily vitamin K intake said the lead researcher. That said, given the direct interaction between dietary vitamin K and the action of the drug, it is important 
that higher daily vitamin K intakes be as consistent as possible. Caveat, and to reiterate, that is not my recommendation, that is us reviewing the study and reading probatum. To end or conclude, our hope, quoting, our hope is that healthcare professionals will stop advising warfarin treated patients to avoid green vegetables. She explained that eating plenty of green vegetables and other nutrients, nutritious vitamin K rich foods can help stabilize anticoagulation therapy and offer many other health benefits. Again, amazing results that conflict with our internal biases in regard to vitamin K and warfarin. I would have thought there would have been other studies prior in regard to double blind crossover placebo in regard to vitamin K and warfarin. According to the researchers, at least they didn't say there were any prior and this being the first. So, good study. In my personal opinion, a little small. I like to see a larger sample size. But if people which are on blood thinners can increase their intake of this very, very beneficial nutrient, that would do a tremendous, tremendous amount of good. Again, this is being directed towards healthcare professionals. However, I'd like to see a little bit, or I should say this study repeated to see if we have a similar outcome in a little larger sample size. But again, DOI citation will be there to link for individuals out there watching this that are not healthcare professionals. The information will be there to present to your medical professional in person. Again, intriguing, definitely uh, conflicting with popular belief, however, or popular hypothesis, but still fascinating just the same. And if people can increase their vitamin K intake and still be healthy while on this medication, again, not arguing the debate whether the medication is necessary or not, or whether to take or not, or whether there's better ones, just referring to the study. And again, the study is isolated to the outcome in regard to one particular anticoagulant, warfarin. So keep it in perspective just the same. But I hope you find this information of use. Thank you very much for listening once again, and I look forward to seeing you all in seven days. Catch you then, bye.